Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. What's up, what's up? Just getting y'all pulled up. There we go. Is y'all cold? It's cold here too. My heat's running. Full blast. I put it up to 73, y'all. I never do that. <laughs> That's how cold it is. <laughs> so, I had... Now, I have already done one of these lives. I think I did it last year. Um, but I've got an order for one. So I thought I would come live because I know a lot of y'all are snowed in, you're iced in. And look, you may just want to watch me, okay? So I thought I'd just do it live for y'all. So come on in, float my boat. Um, we are going to do another one on the ring board using the Dean Michael Fold. Now I've showed y'all how to um, fuse your meshes together or you can do them singly and put one on top of the other, which is what we're gonna do today. So, I cannot see comments. So let me try one more time. There we go, hello, hello. Um, it's just really cold here. I'm too far south in Texas. Um, we're not going to get what Dallas and, and that area is getting. Um, it's just really cold and windy here. So, no chance of, of ice or snow here, thank goodness. So, you are going to need 8 blue, 12 red, and 12 white on the ring. Just like we did yesterday, it's just going to be a different petal. So, thanks for the stars. Hey, hey. So, let me bring you down. That may be a little too far. There we go. I'm glad I make your day. Y'all make mine. You really, really do. Okay, so, let's, right here, is the top of our board just like the other one. So we're gonna go two, four, six, eight. So we have eight blue petals. And then these we're gonna do stripes. So we're gonna go white, red, white, red, all the way around. Okay. Hello. Oh Patricia, that one probably will not be back in stock. Um, but let me let me see what I can do. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the blue. Now these I fused. I didn't fuse. I just did these separately, just to show y'all that it can be done. So it is still a ten by ten cut in half. So what we're gonna do is just line up that tip. Let me see if I can zoom y'all in. Hey Johnny. Oh, I thought that was my son coming in. And then just clip it. This will make it easier for y'all. Kind of line up your edges and clip it again. Hello, hello. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, so this will keep your tip pointed as well if you don't want to fuse your mesh or anything. Thanks for the stars. Okay, we're going to find our middle. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, hey. And then you can either use the, the clips or you can use the band 
whichever you prefer. I'm actually kind of liking the bands um, a little bit more, although they're tearing up my finger. Okay, so doing it that way will still give you that nice point. Okay, so let me bring you back out and let's get started. So, we're going to start right up here and start putting in our petals. Hello, hello. Okay, so you'll eight blue, 12 red, and 12 white. Okay, now I do have most of these other petals done. I saved one of each color for y'all. called an Albuquerque. Don't worry about the, the ones underneath. I just find it easier to go ahead and load the whole board rather than fish underneath it. You have trouble with your hands popping? Oh, let's, let's cut these. Now you can also do these single petaled. Um, it just won't give you the color saturation that doubling these petals up does. This is the one, I love doing this one because y'all, it reminds me of a bunk cake. Could you hold your square? Yeah, you can. This just makes it easier. A lot of people get kind of confused when they do it that way um, or they can't get their mesh lined up and get frustrated so this is an easy way to do it without getting frustrated but you can do it whatever way works for you hello hello and wait wait till y'all see if you haven't seen this one wait till it's done I swear it reminds me of a bun cake. <laughs> so how are y'all how are y'all doing with all that snow and ice? Are y'all snowed in? You need eight blue. 12 white and 12 red. Okay, and I'm just going up underneath and giving it that poof. Waiting for another major storm to come through. Yeah, some of y'all are getting hammered. Gets, oh yeah, the, I mean, the bands, they, they are getting bad. But I'm getting better at them not breaking and hitting me. Because that was really starting to tick me off. <laughs> getting them bands whipping at your fingers. <gasps> Two feet of snow. Holy man. Yeah, my cousin lives in um, Indiana and she invited me. And I was like, nope. I'm going to turn that invitation down. Thank you very much. And then this one we are going to put stars on as well. So these stars are what's going to be available soon for y'all. 
I see it's freezing. It's our weather, y'all. So just, just bear with me. I will pause when I see that it's freezing so that y'all don't miss anything. Okay? All right, so the blue is done. So we're gonna do the white. Um, I like doing these with poly burlap, but fabric mesh works as well. Okay, so I'm putting two pieces, one on top of each other. Yep, I'm showing it now, Terry. Okay. And then clip your sides. This is just another way to do it to get that perfect point. Okay. Now don't worry about what this looks like down here. This part doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. Okay. Find your middle. Pinch it. And then I go one, two, three. One, two, three and three. Hello, hello. Okay, and then take your clips off. It really does, Sharon. I like doing it this way, but I also like fusing it. So if given, if I have to pick, I'm going to fuse it every time. And then there's your perfect point. Okay, so now we're going to go with the white. We're going to do two whites in this one versus how we did it with the um, pinwheel petal the other day because this is what the order was. Hey, hey. So we're going to go two white, two red. Yes, I'm enjoying having my nails back. I can function. <laughs> it is a really pretty pet. See what I'm telling you? It's starting to look like a bunk cake. Y'all, look. Y'all can tell I like food, huh? <laughs> Rainy and foggy. Sweet. Well, I'm thinking about y'all. It's really at least it stopped raining here, but that wind, y'all, that wind is crazy. And it's just I think we're gonna have like um Four days of below freezing at night. I mean, that's almost unheard of down here. It's crazy. Hey, hey. But at least we're not getting the snow and ice like most of y'all are. So I shouldn't complain, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna. <laughs> Thanks for floating my boat. I appreciate it. I even remembered my glue gun this time, y'all.
around the house on the deck. Oh, I'm sure. A level one. Yes, Carrie. It's like unprecedented below freezing this week. Like four or five days of below freezing. And for us, that's just... Look. Yeah, <laughs> definitely bipolar. <laughs> now, as I, I'll, I'll go once I'm done, and I'll try to make sure all of these tips line up. See how that one's kind of going. So I'll bring it in a little bit and try to line all of these up as best I can. Um, she lives in Elkhart. And then my um, my aunt lives in Union, Michigan, like almost right across the border. No, I love it too, Melissa. So if you're just popping in, you'll need 8 blue, 12 white, and 12 red. This one goes pretty quick once you've gotten all your petals together and just ready to, to put in. You were white in an hour. <laughs> My son was going out, and I was like, hey, why don't you just pick up some wings for dinner, and I'll just heat it up later. Because, <laughs> y'all, with this diet, I've been cooking almost every night. I know, don't faint. I've been cooking almost every night. Can you believe it? I'm, like, so over it already. <laughs> Oh, probably Sharon and then get you a big maple leaf maybe and put up in the corner that would be cool I know, Deanna. Girl. If I didn't have to lose this weight, I'd still be ordering DoorDash. I think I put somebody out of a job. Because <laughs> I quit ordering. <laughs> I know, Nadine. Oh, my God. Clean and fly. Oh, there you go, Judy.
<laughs> Most people would have already tuned out if I hadn't pre-made all my petals. <laughs> Ella Beaver. There you go. see the bunk cake now? You can't unsee it once you see it. <laughs> but I do sell quite a few of these. So if y'all can get this petal down, you could possibly sell quite a few. For the year to find y'all to find this much poly burlap to put a kit together is almost impossible. All right, so I'm going up under these petals, so I'm just being extra careful with the ones on top. Oh, I know, right, Tina? I'm going to make one. I'm not going to do it live um, because that's Deanna's thing, but I'm definitely going to make one. Yeah, they're, these petals are definitely fun. Now look, if you can't get your petal totally straight, you can always put just a dab of glue and clip that together, and that's another way to, um, to get that perfect point. All right, last one. Being extra careful up under here. One inch. Hold on, I missed that question. What did you make with 21 inch poly burlap? I was given four rolls. Ooh, 21 inch poly burlap. Um, that's a tough one. Because per poly, that 21 inch poly burlap's expensive. Um, if you have a wood burner, you could possibly kind of do the same thing half it and then cut it in half again and have a bigger petal um, but with poly burlap I would hate to uh, or just make huge flowers all right so if you haven't seen this petal just put one piece over the other to make it easier if you want you can clip the top clip the sides Yep, you can definitely wood burn it. And actually, I've done that for some of my leaves. I had 21 inch green, and I did. I cut it at 10 inches, 
and then I cut it in half to have my bigger leaves. So yeah, it can be done. Okay, and then find your middle, pinch it. One, two, three, one, two, three. But I definitely wouldn't use a rotary cutter. Use your wood burner or you're gonna be hating life. And then go up underneath and open that petal up, okay? Do you need only three rolls for this one? It's, you can actually, um, if you have a roll of each, you I think you can get two of these out of one roll of each. Two whole wreaths. Because you only need eight white, 12, I'm sorry, you need eight blue, 12 white, and 12 red. So you can get, what, 32, 34, 10 inch pieces. So you, you could probably get two of these out of one roll of red, white, and blue. All right, let's get this last one in here. And you can even use the royal blue if you don't have the navy blue. Use the royal blue, it'll be just fine. There we go. All right, let's lay our petals back down. See, doesn't it look like a bunk cake, y'all? <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm hungry. All right, let's close that up and let's get our stars. Now, I will have these stars available for y'all soon. So you're going to get, I believe, 50 of the large stars. And 50 of the small ones right it looks 3d because of the way we did that poof of the, um, the the petal and you'll get 50 of the small ones depending on what project you're doing will depend on how big of the stars you want so for this one I think I'm gonna use the large ones on the other one I did the small ones Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I always Oh, it went out this morning. Awesome. Um Y'all, how many colonies? The first flag was 13. So if you can't fit 50 on a, on, a, on a wreath, then at least do 13 so that you get the 13 original colonies. All right, so we're gonna kind of line these up. If I can remember how I did this layout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Um, the the big ones are an inch and a half, and the small ones were one inch. And I will have those available for y'all soon. All right, so right here is my top because my blue, if you look at the flag, the blue is always in the upper left-hand corner, right? So this is the blue part of our flag. So this is gonna be the top. Right here is the top of my wreath, okay? 
I'm going to take my glasses off to do this to make sure I don't burn myself. Okay, and we're just going to start gluing. Yeah, I'll turn it over in just a minute. Let me get these stars on. I'm trying to keep the point of my stars going the same way. Angie. Please don't burn yourself. <laughs> I think I'm almost immune to it now. I have no finger or no feeling left in my tips. <laughs> These are the glittered foam. So we'll put a little sparkle. Or if you don't want the glitter, just turn it over and use the plain. But I like the glitter. Tongue depressors, right? <laughs> That'll work. Um, this one is already sold. This was an order. That's why I was like, let me just do it live. So this one will be off to its new home tomorrow. You got you some tulips? Y'all, at the end of the season last year, I had a whole box that I'd ordered and found when I was cleaning up around my front door. So I have a poop ton of uh, tulips. <laughs> so I'll be making a lot of tulip wreaths this year. there on the tip. I 
Oh gosh, I, I honestly don't remember how many tulips it takes. Yes, this one would definitely fit between two doors. Um, so it is approximately one, two, three inches deep. So there you go. And there is the back. It even looks kind of cool from the back, doesn't it? But doesn't it look like a bunk cake? Um, Terry, it, I mean, if you're going to use a rotary cutter, make sure it's very sharp. Um, and just know that you're going to get some frays. Just be very patient with your mesh. Put it in really gentle. Be nice to it. Talk nicely to it. Um, you may have to cut off a few frays, um, but it really just depends on how you handle it. Once you, you stop messing with it, it will stop fraying, um, but just, just be nice to it. <laughs> the stars are foam, glitter foam. Um, uh, my package is already on the way. Deanna was kind enough to make tons of stars for y'all. Um, stars, ladybugs, bumblebees, um, dots for the ladybug. The ladybug kit should come out next week. Um, and the butterflies are starting, will start coming out probably next week as well. Next week or the week after. Um, so all of the bugs are coming, y'all. Y'all have been asking and asking and asking. Um, so those usually come out um, January, February time frame to get y'all ready for spring. So all of those are coming. All right. How do I share a picture with you? If you want to share a picture, y'all, my, my um, other group is called Barrel of Monkeys. Um, and you'll know it's my group because it has my same logo of the monkey at the top. Um, so if you want to go um, look that up, and I'll, I'll, I'll share the link in here. Um, and that's where you can post all your creations. I try to get in there, but y'all, honestly, I'm so busy that I, I, I honestly forget I even have that group in there. Um, and I, it, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am, but I do. Sometimes they'll pop up um, when I'm scrolling through Facebook, and, and I'll look at it, and then I'm like, oh, let me go look at the page. Um, so, but you can definitely post it in there, tag me, um, and then I know I'll see it. All right. For the rose, where did I find the tutorials on rose for Flower Senna? I've done a couple. Roses really aren't my thing. Um, but I do have a couple of tutorials on my YouTube channel, Monkey's Creations as well. Or you can go to Unique in the Creek. Um, and she has tons of rose tutorials. Um, so I would, I would go find her. <laughs> I make them, but I don't enjoy making them. The Lion Vinyl, Unique in the Creek. I will share my link. All right, y'all. That's it. I'm out of here. I need to um, go eat some pig skins. <laughs> some pork rinds. Because <laughs> I'm getting hungry. All right. Y'all have an awesome day. There it is one more time. Try to find. There it is. <laughs> there you go. All right, y'all have an awesome day. Um, VIP, we are in um, VIP tonight for Wreath Critique. So I will see y'all tonight in there. Um, and that's it. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.